I helped plan the Impact Kumaya, so we had teenagers planning the mission trip, which was awesome. And so seeing it grow to the whole church is kind of cool. This is giving you an opportunity to really serve. Or we often talk about how can we help, but then we never do it. So here's a chance for you to actually do it. Actually, Impact Pumaya was my first experience of Encounter. So I was really impressed by their involvement in the community. Personally, I'm just pretty passionate about the church being able to reach the people that maybe aren't comfortable walking into the church. Um, I think it's really great that this is a huge part of what the church wants to do for the summer. I think we get stuck coming to church on Sunday morning and we don't necessarily walk at them Monday through Friday. I think seeing the need in our community and then seeing the impact that we can have just in one week's time could really be encouraging. For young families, like I'm thinking of my, you know, of my four-year-old, it starts the conversation with her, that conversation, you know, that you can have now with your family and, and they can take it to school. And so, yeah, I mean, it could, it could really grow. I think the serving opportunities usually end up impacting the person that's doing the serving more than those who are being served. We send kids, we send families away for missions trips so they get to come home to their safe home. And now they're seeing it just down the street, that it, it, it will change your perspective. We can really help our community. I think it's one that desperately needs it, and I think we tend to hide an eye from it. So I really wanted to embrace the impact. Uh, you know, they always say that it tends to be a two-sided learning experience. I hope that we impact Palmyra, but yet we're inspired by Palmyra. It becomes a full cycle, a relationship between the community, and that we see years from now that it will continue to grow. I see it somewhat as a bodybuilder for our church. You know, there's a lot of times we come to church on a Sunday morning, and I, I see people, I see them on a regular basis, but I don't know who they really are. I see it as a great opportunity just to get to know who I'm working beside. Just getting involved is definitely going to draw you closer. You'll feel the heartbeat of the church then. I had the opportunity to work many times on something like this, but it was in another country. So this is a little different for me, and uh, it'll be neat to see how we can help people in our backyard. So the people that might say, well, there's other people, we need everybody that's new in this church because this is the only way we're going to pull this off, is to have everybody involved. We need more helpers. Whenever we did in Um I met a really cool lady and she was just amazing in my life and taught me a lot about what it takes to be a Christian and how you can really be faithful. We were, like, we were there helping her with work sites, but really she was teaching us. For some people, the biggest challenge might be giving up their time. It might be not doing a soccer camp and instead doing this, or not taking the second week's vacation to go to the beach, but doing this. So partnering with people and letting them know that we care about them, I think that's the heart of the gospel. Helping people to know Jesus, that He is loving and that He cares for them. Um, and I think the way to do that today is to just come alongside people and be a friend to them. And I think that in Palmyra, just helping the community in any way we can is what shows the love of Christ.